Joe Anderson. Is that second in place? Item number four is the uh, combined authority nominations and appointments, um, and they are on pages one to four on your agenda. Uh, item number four. Um, so that is something that uh, any comments um, anyone want to make or no? Can we agree that then, please? Okay. Is it just? To, yeah. Do, you've got. Um, this sheet, which is just an addendum, so subject to that, can we agree that we forward then? Thank you. And then if we uh, move on uh, to item five, which is the um, it's actually the annual review, and then item six is the forward plan. I'm going to suggest that we take uh, both of those items, five and six, together with your permission. Okay? So, um, Chair, do you want to take us through uh, item five and six, please? Yeah, thank you, Chair. Um, short presentation, just kind of uh, summarising the progress that's been made over the two of the combined authorities' uh, activities. So, um, so throughout uh, 2015, we've been working with partners to develop a range of uh, devolution uh, tasks. Uh, if you'll all know, obviously, <coughs> in the chamber that. Um, that Thank you. 
announced in the March 2016 government budget, signaling the future direction travel for some aspects of, uh, of ongoing uh, devolution discussions. And uh, the implementation of that agreement is being driven by the command authority portfolio needs, uh, obviously in, in line with the arrangements in the working place. Uh, just a couple of slides on the individual component uh, part in headlines, Chair. Transport, um, about 14 transport improvement schemes worth uh, more than £150 million pounds to address urgent highway and transport issues across the city region. And I think it's, uh, it's right that uh, all areas of the, uh, the geography of the city region are benefiting from this transport uh, investment. And it's actually very important to recognise that fact. There's a scrutiny review of affordable transport being undertaken. Uh, we've reinforced consistently a very clear and coherent case for bringing high-speed rail, that's HS2, down to and from London. Uh, but also the east-west connectivity or HS3, as some people continue to refer to it as. Uh, and we've put together a very uh, clear package, which has been well received by governments over recent months uh, in that space. And uh, special thanks to, uh, to Mesa Travel for their work uh, on that particular agenda, because I think we've caught up a huge amount of, uh, of time and distance on that issue uh, to get ourselves uh, close to the envelope for HS2 and the protection package. Ongoing partnership work with Transport for the North, obviously, and Rail North, uh, which will be an enhanced franchising gap opportunities and potential for us going forward, and the improvements of the local city region bus strategy. Obviously, just some headlines on transport, a lot more work going on in that sphere. Uh, likewise, on economic development, it's very topical. Obviously, this is the end of the first week of the Liverpool uh, hosting the International Festival of Business uh, 2016 at the Exhibition Centre. Investments of growth deal funding, uh, including the International Festival of Business, which has received a high amount of money. And there's one or two examples of uh, very high profile projects that are starting to uh, complete uh, about to complete their appraisal process and about to start to start is what I was trying to say. Uh, successful bid for £8 million pounds of ERDF to help local businesses to grow, uh, consistent with local growth and the on the slide. And ongoing work towards intermediate body status to allow greater control. And uh, influence over the admin of how uh, the new funding uh, is uh, continues to be made available to us to add value to the economy of the city region. Employment and skills, uh, 21 and a half million pounds into over 30 skills capital projects across the city region. They've been agreed as the years gone on and have uh, been implemented again as we speak. The agreements of skills for growth priorities for 2015 16, a very important piece of work in terms of being able to identify where the skills are going to be required and where they're going to come from to allow us to achieve some of the potential that we've uh, set and some of the targets we've set for ourselves uh, arising from uh, the growth that we're we'll continue to secure. Successful bid for £29 million pounds of ESF to improve access to employment and skills and residents. Uh, again, that's benefiting uh, all of John Brees and the uh, city region. The area-based review into further education that I mentioned earlier is, uh, is now ongoing and live. Uh, of work, very important. to prepare for the development of the city region housing.
see the, the final update report uh, on the single growth strategy. Uh, thank you to all colleagues in supporting us to get to this point. Hopefully the report is self-explanatory. Uh, it outlines the, the focus um, of, the, of the emerging strategy and the report is, is here for colleagues' consideration today to allow us to confirm the strategic approach in terms of the vision, uh, the mission and, and the core themes and asks uh, for delegated authority for the final approval of the document to the chair and the head of paid service to allow us to uh, conclude uh, the final version of the, um, of the document ahead of the, the launch on the, the 30th of June. Uh, but happy to take any comments or questions, Chair, um, in relation to the report. Okay, well this, this is a, uh, a report that we, you've uh, seen in the last report as well. Um, so basically there are some recommendations assessed out of the report on page 2021. Uh, so uh, can we agree those recommendations are set out of the report, please? Okay. Thanks for that then, thank you. Um, item 11 is the direct rail service between Southport and Manchester. Ian, do, anything you want to add to this? Yeah. If I can, Chair, I just want to slight amendment. Move the page 26 on 3.6. The paragraph on the page of the paragraph. Second to last line, it's a right to be part of the north of the seat. So I can't say it's great, but I just want to change that. Instead of saying to enhance service provision, if we change that to, to say in order to retain and enhance the existing service patterns on the Southport to Manchester line as set out in second council motion, if we change that to that too, and the reason for us doing that is connectivity for people in Southport is an issue, and it, it's an issue everybody recognises and knows, and to reduce that connectivity into Manchester is certainly a backward step, and we look for support to try and change that to at the very least keep the service pack that we already have. Okay, so we have a kind of yeah, which can it's being proposed that uh, that alteration is made.
Okay, so can we agree that recommendation then um, as set out uh, within the report, please? Okay, thank you. And then if we uh, move on, the next report is the apprenticeship grants for em employers. Um, and I uh, think it's soon for that. Um, take it on, on this one. It's uh, looking at the evolution of more funding to the city region uh, will be used to uh, uh, create apprenticeships for young people. Um, so it's uh, part of the, the development of the uh, apprenticeship grant from uh, from Central Government to help us form uh, apprenticeships. Sue, do you want to?
so no, and, and people don't realise the amount of work that uh, gets put in to not only uh, the left, but also about support of us here, uh, engaging with government and ministers and engaging with other lefts and all of those things, and all basically done on a voluntary basis, you know, I mean, without that dedication and that commitment, I, I, I genuinely